Okay guys, this is DJ Advice, also DJ Morrow. Hey, I am doing a video response to uh, Jason Early's video that he did for Brian S. Red. And Brian was uh, talking about, uh, you know, a compact system. And he knows the system I have, and so I'm going to show it to you. This is the Bose uh, L1 Compacts. Uh, really nice system to have. And I'm going to say this, you know, Bose, when you go to their website, it says, you know, 100, uh, you know, 100 people for one unit. I'm going to downplay that and say 75 is probably about right, you know, because I like having a little more uh, headroom, and you know, as far as sound is concerned. Okay, because I'm a sound guy. What can I say? Okay, uh, what I want to let you know that the bow system does not weigh more than Annie. In fact, Annie weighs more than the bow system. Thank you, Annie. The bow system is light, compact. I mean, this is so light. I mean, I got one hand, let it do lifts. Yeah! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and he's going, you're crazy. Okay, it comes with uh, the extensions. Now, these extensions have nothing to do with audio except these are just connections. That's all they are, it's just connections. But it's kind of cool to give you a case with it. So, what we're going to do here to uh, Jason Early's uh, video response to Brian S. Red, uh, my friend, both of them are my friends, and uh, I'm going to do a little uh, overview on this. I'm going to show. You, I'm going to try to do this in one take, but I want to show you the back of it as well. So, the, showing the showing you the back of it is going to take a little time, uh, probably more time than it took to just set this up. So here we go. One hand. I have my computer set up here. Uh, I'm going into RCA, but you have a lot of options on the Bose L1 Compacts. In the back, you could hook up with XLR, uh, RCA, quarter inch. It's really uh, also that little plug, which I, <laughs> you don't know which I'm talking about. Put, put that in your comments, because I forgot what it was called. But we're going out from the computer. It looks like a PC, uh, or from an iPod, or whatever. Uh, we're just gonna do it that way. So here we go. In the back, you'll notice on this unit, it has a little pouch which contains your power cord, okay? And it's got a cover, and it's really easy. I'm, I'm using, oh, sorry. I'm using one hand. There we go, one hand. So we're going to take this off with one hand. That's the cover. And it's going to show you basically the unit here itself. I'm going to show you a little more uh, depth what it is, but I'm going to also show you in the back. Check it out. That's where the power uh, cord comes in right here and the on and off switch and this is your output which I'm going to show you later in a little clip later so we're going to put it on the table but it's it's lighter than Annie seriously Annie's heavy he, she's a fat cat so here we go one hand we're going to set this up we're going to take this which is the tops take it out slide it out it's really neat how they did this I'm going to take these extensions tie me take it out Hopefully it's not too much time. Hopefully I'm not boring you with this, but here we go. I'm taking it out with one hand. Make I'm gonna just use one extension right now. Make sure the Bose logo is up. That's all you have to do. So anyway, one hand. I'm gonna slide it in like that, and then put my tops on. And what I'm gonna do is hook up my power cord to the back. And hook it up. I have uh, on my table here. I have a table. If you notice, it's up, so you can see it. There it is. It's hooked up. Now I have to hook up the laptop, which is uh, hooked up to Virtual DJ. I'm going to hook it up to the back RCA. Okay. I'm going to stop right here, and I'm going to show you the back because I want to show you what options you have in the back. Okay. Okay. Here we go. And then we're going to come back to the other video. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, in the back of the unit, uh, basically, you have two channels here. And you can also go XLR in if you'd like to. That's up to you. This is for microphone, but you can still do it this way if you want. And it gives you uh, the high, mids, and uh, well, highs and uh, lows. Also, your gains up here, gains up on this side. Uh, you can go in with that little, uh, oh gosh, I'm messing it here. That little, you know, uh, what you're going to use today, that little. Uh, uh, RCA whatever it is uh, for your headphones or for your iPad or whatever 
uh, or you can go input into RCA this way. Also, you can do it this way as well, quarter inch. And that's the way I usually do it, quarter inch. Uh, well, sometimes uh, I do it RCA depending on the application. Uh, here it has tone match for a guitar, which is kind of cool. So it's already tone match, but what we want to do is put it on line level out, uh, in. So right there, that's it. Also behind here is your out. You can't see it because it's a little dark, but that's your quarter inch right here going out. So like if you want to hook up an external uh, subwoofer, you can. So it's kind of cool in that way. So anyway, uh, enough said. Uh, let's go to uh, setting it up. Man, it took me more time to wrap up the back and everything than it is to hook it up. Do you notice how long it took me just to set this up? Real easy, one hand. So we're ready to go. I put this in the RCA. Uh, I have uh, my gains in the back. I've got it about, hopefully about the right time. Just gonna turn it on. You'll see there's a, I didn't show the indicator. It, it, it's a little blue indicator in the middle of the unit. So here we go. We're gonna play a song. We're just gonna loop it. Here we go. <laughs> that simple it was that easy um, guys I, you know I can only say that I use the Bose L1s about maybe 80% of the time now than I use my other systems I have uh, yeah I'm lucky to have access to JBLs ultra bass uh, EVs um, I have Sir and Vega Yamaha's I have a lot of options but this gives me an option if I want to go you know compact or I don't have to go into like a, let's, let's say you have a chamber of commerce event where they just want something really simple but it's a two usually chamber of commerce events are two hours or a two-hour event where you don't have to uh, you know you don't want to have to put a massive setup but this is all, all you need they just want a PA system in fact check it out take this out you can use it this way too check it out Without the extensions, it's a PA system. Just put a little mic behind there, and it's ready to go. So I just want to say there's a lot of a lot of ways you can apply this to, a lot of ways you can use it, and it's ready to go. Check it out. Without the extensions. Same thing. You have a lot of options, but anyway. Thank you uh, for watching. I want to say thank you to uh, Brian S. Red. Thank you to Jason Early. And good gig. God bless. Practice and enjoy. Hope, hope this helped out.